in this video I'm going to discuss uh, these three uh, quantities of uh, measurement one is perimeter the area and the volume so let's read uh, the question one of the ramps of Jason's local skate park is a triangle of wedge or a prism so this is a prism prism a triangle of wedge okay so this is the shape of the local skate park so this the length is 2.5 meters and the height is 0.7 meters and the depth is uh, 1.2 meters so the question is first question is find cal calculate the area of the front triangular face so this is the front triangular face okay so or this is also called the cross section okay so a prism if you uh, yeah, you should be knowing a prism is a shape which has equal cross section so if you uh, cut it uh, along this line okay so if you do a cross section uh, let's say this is the cross you see the front so this is the cross section so if you cut uh, say you cut it like this from the top okay and the cross section that you will get will always be the area of this triangle so that's how you distinguish between a prism and a pyramid so this is a prism so this has the base of so we can say this is the base which is 2.5 meters and this is the height so area of a triangle so i'll write in short so area of triangle the formula is 0.5 of base half times base times height okay so that's the formula so that is let me change color so which is 0 0.5 or half times base which is 2.5 meters let me write the meters times 0.7 meters so it's always good to write the unit when we are writing uh, when we're doing any example of measurement so this is I'll use the calculator now so that is menu run so it's 0 0.5 times 2.5 times 0 0.7 so the unit should be in meter squared because you're multiplying a meter times meter so it's 0 0.875 meter squared so the area is 0 0.875 meter squared just like that okay now you want to find the volume of this the volume of concrete that the wedge is made from so this is made from concrete so volume of a prism so this is the general formula of any prism you, you see a prism you can use this formula so area of a prism is uh, in some books they say area of base times the depth so I call this the area of cross section area of cross section times the uh, in this case I can say times the uh, width okay or you can also say the height doesn't because this these width height and length are interchangeable so I'll call this the width okay or the depth okay let me call that the depth okay they all mean the same thing in different you look at it in different ways so this is I'm um, this is what I'm talking about the this is what I'm saying is the depth so this is the depth okay so to find the volume you find the area of cross section times the depth so what's the area of cross section so this is nothing but the this is area of the triangle this triangle is a cross section so this I'll let me change color so this is nothing but area of cross section area of cross section so this is I'll again write the unit which is 0 0.875 meter squared which is area of cross section times the depth what's the depth depth is 1.2 meters okay so you're multiplying meter times meter squared times meter so first always write the unit to be on safe side okay so and then I'm going to use a calculator it is uh, 0 0.875 times 1.2 which is yeah 1.05 meter cube 
okay so here the unit is 1.25 meter cube so meter cube and centimeter square are two different things okay so again to explain how did I get meter cube this is you can write this like this 0 0.875 times 1.2 that's the numbers and then you have to also multiply the unit which is meter squared times meter meter times meter squared times meter gives you meter cube and this gives you this number okay hopefully you understood that so this is meter cube 1.05 meter cube okay now the last question at Jason school there is a courtyard where students can skateboard okay this is the shape so you got the shape what's the perimeter of this courtyard so you want to find the the distance around the skateboard so perimeter is the distance around or the distance of the border so here first I need to find this I don't know how much is this I need to find this so this is question mark and this is also question mark so let us think about it so this is this you got from year to year you got six meters and from year to year it's eight meters so what's the distance from year to year well this is six plus eight which is this is 14 meters okay now this is answered so I'll remove the question mark now think about this how will you find this distance from year to year okay so you can pause the video if you want so I know the distance from year to year is 35 so let me write this this is how did I get this this is 6 plus 6 meters plus 8 meters which is 14 meters now this I know the distance from year to year is 35 meters and the distance from year to year is 10 meters so the distance from year to year would be 35 meters take away 10 meters always write the unit it's always a good habit so this is 25 meters so now you know this you know all the length of all the uh, all the line segments so the perimeter would be 14 meters plus 10 meters plus 6 meters plus 25 meters plus 8 meters plus 35 meters so let me check so this is 14 meters 10 meters 6 meters 25 meters 8 meters and 35 meters so now just you have to add them up to the calculator let me scroll this to this side okay so let me type in okay that is 14 plus 10 plus 6 plus let me scroll this plus 25 plus 8 plus 35 which is 98 meters so the unit of uh, perimeter is always meter or centimeters okay so you need to remember for perimeter when you have the question of perimeter it is the unit would always be centimeter or meter or kilometer whatever for area the unit would be always be it can be also millimeter squared this is only example centimeter squared millimeter squared or meter squared okay and for volume it is the cube so volume would be you can say centimeter cube it can be millimeter cube it can be meter cube and so on so this is one one dimensional this is two dimensional and this is three dimensional 